off, but some homes that Hurricane Matthew damaged are still unlivable. Getting the home repairs done is a struggle financially and simply because there are just not enough contractors to do the job still. First Coast News' Jessica Clark reports on a surprise workforce that is helping in St. John's County now. The owners of this home in St. Augustine haven't been able to live inside of it since Hurricane Matthew just completely flooded it. But now some new, fresh volunteers from all over the country are helping out. This house is getting a new life. Local professionals are working on it, and so is a whole crew of volunteers. Wisconsin. From Wisconsin. Boise, Idaho. Idaho, even Missouri. The young volunteers are with AmeriCorps. It's like the Peace Corps, but the 18 to 24 year olds volunteer in the U.S. and for 10 months at a time. I've had a really easy life and I've learned a lot from the community around me. So I wanted to give back and help out for people in need. Haley Burns joined AmeriCorps. She is 19 years old and from Wisconsin. I am caulking this right now. She and her AmeriCorps volunteers came just when the folks with the St. John's Housing Partnership needed extra help. We're a nonprofit organization. We utilize volunteer groups. The organization has been helping hurricane victims rebuild their homes, especially for people who can't afford the work. Matthew flooded this house in Davis Shores, and then the contractors left the owners high and dry. They had been victimized by a contractor who took about half their insurance money, tore the house apart, and then disappeared. So the owners contacted St. John's Housing Partnership. This is what we walked into. The AC duct system was completely trashed. It was full of water. There's all kind of debris in the, the house. And it just so happens that AmeriCorps popped up on the radar. And so the kids were able to come in and help us put down the plywood, put down the new flooring, finish the drywall, do the interior painting. The AmeriCorps volunteers put in 40 hours a week. In exchange, the St. John's Housing Partnership provides housing and professional guidance on the job site. These are all real good kids. Everybody had to learn from somebody along the way, and it's just us old timers way of paying it back. So in the end, the housing partnership gets a much needed labor. The students are learning trades and makes me feel good. And it gets people back into their homes faster. Yeah, it's a treat to be able to help these people get back home and get back to work. And even homey touches like the garden statues are here waiting for the homeowners who plan to move back inside their home this weekend. It's been a long time since Matthew in St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.